What is going on YouTubers, Jay here from Maji and Jay and as you guys saw from that little mini clip I already completed here the unboxing of the Goofone i8 Plus that I received directly from China and then today after doing that little clip uh, that was yesterday today I decided to go to Best Buy and see if they had the iPhone 8 Plus original in stock and they told me that yes they had it and that the only model they could sell me without having to do any contracts or any activations was the model from Verizon so of course I say yes because I wanted the product right now and I also purchased here the GoPro Hero 6 that you guys see in the background and I was very lucky because they only had two units even though this is not a super popular selling phone right now but they only had two units and one of them was white and I needed the black color version so that I could do a fair comparison here with the fake one so anyways guys now that we know what comes inside of the fake one let me just go ahead and compare here the boxes you guys can tell that well the Chinese were very close uh, in terms of what the box was going to look like and the only thing they filled with was the background color and also the fact that this one has a shadow and this one doesn't but now when it comes to the iPhone logos they are quite similar and here we can see it on the top you got the Apple logos as well as on the bottom side and then on the back here we had the remainder of the information again it is a copy and paste and now we can see that well this one has a QR code this one doesn't this one has a old-fashioned uh, barcode this one doesn't and um, also here underneath we have more barcodes here uh, than on the real one so I guess that's uh, somewhat you know reliable way to know if the box is fake or not but again the Chinese can always make it to perfection at any given point as a matter of fact as we speak they may have already cloned the box to look exactly like the real one so with that being said let me go ahead and set here the fake box aside and check out here the real iPhone 8 plus and to be honest with you guys, I already went ahead and opened the iPhone 8 Plus and I actually activated the device and have all the applications that I use on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 are installed here on the iPhone 8 Plus. And here we have the quick start guides. And just to do a comparison here, let me just reopen this box. And these are the quick start guides. These are the fake ones. They only come with one uh, piece of uh, paper. And on the real one, we have several ones and actually they are different and we do get the famous Apple stickers with it so again I am showing this so that way you guys can identify if you are buying a real or fake by just looking at the box which is really simple uh, next here we have the device and you guys can see that it looks very nice beautiful phone everything activated I am using it here with uh, T-Mobile and here's the back side now something I noticed here just to do a quick comparison is the fact that this one has more like a smoke effect on the back glass it doesn't look uh, dark black like on the fake one so I guess that this is another way to spot at least on the device if you have a real one or a fake one and also look at the camera lenses this one is only um, a single camera device this is the real one you guys can tell that the other lens is definitely fake it is just there for the looks so anyways we're gonna get in more details in just a second but uh, here are the earphones the real one on the fake one they are still using those old uh, plastic um, containers as you guys can tell and on the back of the real one we have the uh, headphone jack adapter and on the fake one we're not going to get the adapter unfortunately um, now when it comes here to the USB cables you guys can tell that they are quite similar they are almost identical so just be aware of that and then lastly here we have the uh, wall chargers this one has more of a glossy finish and this one is more of a I would say like a rough uh, plastic it doesn't feel as smooth as uh, the fake one and then here on the back side they look very close to be honest with you guys it's almost impossible to tell which one is which uh, we can even see there the Apple logos I mean if you don't have them side by side I would say it is almost impossible to tell which charger is real and which one is fake but of course we know that since we just took this out of the real box this is the real one and this is the fake one so now that we know um, what the accessories look like let's go ahead and jump here directly into the phones 
And now that we have both devices turned off, we can tell here that from the fake one, which is the one on the right side, it has more glare when it comes to the screen. Uh, this one kind of blends in better with the remaining of the bezels, making it all look like one piece when it's turned off. On the top side here, the speaker grills are almost identical with the exception of the color. And if you look closely here on the upper side where the speaker grill is located, you only have one sensor. And on the real one here, we have two sensors. And the cameras are very similar as well, as you guys can tell right here. Uh, then on the left hand side, with the exception of this sticker residue that I left here from a uh, warranty uh, sticker that came with the device, we have the volume rockers located exactly on the same position. And there you can see it a little bit better. We have the silent switch. On the top here, we have absolutely nothing. And also notice here how the uh, metal frame on the fake one is a little bit more glossier than on the uh, real one. I'm not sure if you guys can appreciate that. But that's so far the uh, main differences between these two devices when it comes to the metal frames. Then on the right hand side here, we have the power keys located exactly in the same position, even the uh, SIM trays are also located on the same position. And then towards the bottom here, you guys can see that both of them are missing the headphone jack, but we do have there the lightning ports. We have the loudspeaker as well as the microphone. Now keep in mind that the fake one here is only going to have one speaker. This one comes with stereo speaker, which is one on the bottom and one here on the uh, top. Now getting a look here on the back side of each device, other than both of them having uh, a lot of fingerprints because they are fingerprint magnets, unfortunately they are made of glass. Uh, the color on this one is a little bit different as I explained before on the unboxing of the original one. Um, also the cameras are very different. You can tell that well this sensor right here on the fake one looks, uh, I would say of high quality, but then the other one is absolutely fake. It doesn't glare the same way as the uh, sensor here on the left hand side. So yes, we only have one camera here. Uh, the LED flash are almost identical with the exception that this one looks a little bit more, I would say foggier. This one is a little bit more transparent. On the uh, bottom side here, this one says only iPhone. This one says iPhone, and then it says designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, very typical. Uh, starting both devices up, you will notice how the Apple logos are quite similar. Let me just confirm that for you guys. And there we can see it. We have the black background with the white Apple logo. So both of them start at almost the same time. I could be wrong. And here we can see how this one has deeper blacks when it comes to the LCD. This one has a little bit more um, glare to it. And that's a great way if you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison to look for is if the screen has a lot of glare, then you're definitely getting a fake. Now the cool part about um, iOS is that it has many unique features that you can look for when uh, purchasing a phone on the streets. Okay, so this one already booted up and it took a little bit longer than the uh, real one. Um, also here from the lost screens, immediately you can tell the fonts are very different. Okay, this one has uh, bigger, um, bigger numbers than on the real one. Okay, also here um, Thursday 5th of October is backwards in the American way. We read uh, October 1st and then 5th. So that's another imperfection right there. Uh, towards the bottom here, uh, both of them are very similar. This one says press home to unlock. This one says press home to open. So of course I have a password uh, on here. So let me just go ahead and enter my password. And there we go. And now this one also has a password, I believe. And yes, it does. So let me enter the passcode on this one, which is the same one as the real one. And now with both of these devices unlocked, we are ready to go ahead and proceed here with the second step, which is test the fingerprints. Um, yes, on the fake one, we do have a real fingerprint. This was a complete surprise because if I'm not mistaken, this phone goes right now in the market, in the Chinese market for around $115 to $130. And I was so surprised to see that it does come with a fingerprint. So uh, let me go ahead and lock both devices and we're going to be testing them in one, two, and three. And here I got prompted to Siri, so that wasn't a fair comparison. Let me try that one more time. So one, two, and three. And this one didn't read it completely. I need to take more time for it to read it. And to prove to you guys that this is a real fingerprint, let me lock it again. Let me try the finger that is not recorded. And you guys will see that it's not going to work if I keep trying. But now if I try here, the finger that again has been recorded, which is both of my thumbs, I can do it here with my left thumb. 
and it should work there we go but if I try the left index it won't work so again we do have a real fingerprint scanner this is absolutely amazing um, again considering the price I mean I have seen other clones out there with fingerprint scanners but they usually go for 180 to 190 and sometimes even above $200 depending on the processor and now to jump here quickly into the specifications of this product it comes with the MTK 65A0 it has 2 gigabytes of RAM 16 gigabytes of internal storage and yes the RAM is actually real guys I was impressed to see that this one comes with 2 gigabytes for the first time in a very long time um, also it has an 8 megapixel sensor camera on the back like I mentioned before it's only one sensor and it's actually not that great if we compare it here with the real one let me go ahead and open the cameras uh, you guys can tell that yes this one has a lot better qualities I mean it is a lot smoother we are talking about a device that costs almost $1,000 versus a device that only costs $115. So we really can't get that picky, honestly. But now the cool part about this replica is that we do get a fake portrait mode, as you can tell right here. Uh, it's basically uh, going to be like a bokeh uh, mode. It's going to blur the surroundings, but it's not as effective as with the real iPhone, to be honest with you guys, but at least the option is there. Then we have here uh, photos. Next we got videos. This one is only going to record in 720p and this one is at uh, 4K 60 frames per second. That's the maximum resolution that we can record in. We got slow-mo on both of the uh, devices and then finally time lapse and that's pretty much it. So as you guys can tell when it comes to the camera software they are very close. Um, here also we got uh, photos and here you guys can see well even though it has some pictures on here but it's nothing that you guys can't see. Here we can notice how they are very similar, at least on the bottom side options right there. You guys can tell that they look very, very similar, which is really cool. Um, going back here to the main page, we have the clocks. We got the maps. This one is using Google Maps, and this one is using the Apple Maps, okay, which is really cool. Uh, next, we got here the app stores. You guys can see that they look quite similar, but this one is, in fact, the Play Store, and this one is the actual App Store. So you guys can see right here that we are comparing a fake because a lot of people say, no, Jade, you had the real one. Uh, you had two real devices. None of them were fake. So please don't lie. You know, a lot of people just don't believe because of the fact that these things are getting so great. We have iTunes and on iTunes, they included uh, Google Play, which is really cool. And this one is the actual iTunes, as you guys can tell. Uh, next, we got here iBooks. Okay. Very different on this side. We have settings, and on settings here, you guys can tell that the fonts are quite different. Okay, there we can see airplane mode. The fonts are different. And on this one now, I notice we have a different setting on here. We have emergency SOS, something that we're not going to see here on the uh, fake one. And now on the fake device, let's go into general. Let's go into about. And here we can see all the fake information. It is claiming to be 256 gigabytes, but we know that's absolutely fake. The iOS version, this one is claiming to be iOS 11.0. And I think we already have 11.1.2, or actually, I'm sorry, 11.0.2. I just got the update today. And in case you guys want to see it, let me just hide my serial number right there. But there we can see it, 11.0.2. And this one says 11.0. If we swipe from the bottom up, you guys will see the control centers are almost identical. And here we can see it says iPhone music. This one says music. We have the volume controls, okay, which is really cool. The same thing we can do here. We have the brightness, very similar. We have do not disturb. We have the screen mirroring. We have the flashlights. Let's go ahead and compare both of them. Let's see here. There we can see the flashlights, very similar once again. We got the calculators. So everything, guys, when it comes to the software, it is very well made. This is one of the best replicas right now in the market, to be honest with you guys, based on everything that I've seen. Uh, FaceTime is not real. And then here on extras, we have some of the Android uh, necessary stuff like downloads. We have the uh, Play Store on here. 
uh, which basically they just have changed the icon to look here like the iTunes store like we saw before. We have voice memos, contacts, and that's pretty much all we get on here that I would say is quite important. So with this being said, if you guys have any questions, you know exactly what to do, just leave your comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next one.